<laughs> Lonnie, the theater lady, that's what they call you. That's and, what you and call why me. why do we call you that? Let's see. Could you figure it out? I thought it was obvious, but that I went think to so a too. place where I didn't count on. Okay. okay. Uh, we're talking about <laughs> The Guard at City Theater this week. You saw yes, this recently. Are. I did. I did. And I have to say, I'm always saying how fortunate I am and all of us are living in Pittsburgh because of the phenomenal theater we have in a city this size compared to other cities this size. But this production is really the creme de la creme. It's, oh, it's at, the, at the top of wonderful really productions. Good. Yeah, I, the writing was brilliant. It's by Jessica Dickey. She also wrote Take Me Home, Charles Ives. Mm -hmm. and that was last year, or maybe the year he, before. I think they it was a couple years together. ago. Yeah, <laughs> and the, the writing is just, it's, it's so textured, and it looks real deeply into so many human emotions and love and loss and how we can learn about life from art and how we can learn about art from life and an emotional this. microscope does that work for you is that a yeah good image? It, was, it was a comedic drama but there was it went so deeply into so many things mm. that you know it wasn't fluff it was pretty intellectual it was there's intellectual a lot of fluff comedy. out there too it's nice yeah. to see some substance and this definitely had some substance. meat on the plate and what happened <laughs> in this is uh, three people in a museum decided that they were going to touch a Rembrandt, and they did. And what happened after that, I don't want to give anything away. I mean, well, you remember what it, happened when we did that at the at the Carnegie. Oh, I know. Thank God yeah. somebody came and bailed, bailed us, us out. out. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That was expensive. Mike Bazzelli had to uh, pedal umbrellas on the corner for a year. <laughs> I'm still paying uh, to, him back. To, hey, to pay that Still off. paying him back. <laughs> But um, usually I pick out actors and mm -hmm. say, oh, these were the standout performances. But I have to tell you, they were all so good. I, I, can't, I can't leave anybody Everyone's out. Everyone's a hit, no misses. And they all play two characters, two different characters, mm -hmm. and they were so good, each and every one. If you could say they were a lead, it would be maybe Henry. And that was, he was played by Andrew May. And he also played another role, which, no spoilers. I see. It's and a uh, you could just feel his emotional confusion. He, he did a really good job with his role, as did the others. And then Billy Heffinger played Johnny. He was hilarious. He had funny lines, but the way he delivered them, <laughs> really spot on. He just, I love the comedic way he. Comedic timing. Yes. Comedic dexterity. And he had it. Absolutely. And Madeline is paid, played by Melinda Helfrich. And she really, I think, did a really good job of showing her vulnerability in her role. And Dodger, uh, Stephen James Anthony, again, really strong performance. Would you say he was artful? Yes, actually. He had a are mohawk. You, are you getting my reference? Though? I am. The Artful am. Dodger. The Artful okay, Dodger. I didn't have and to he was in an art museum. I, it works on so many levels. Yes, you it see. does. That's why I'm in the tuxedo. I understand uh, that. You're a dodgy guy. No, that's not what I meant. But please, <laughs> continue. And the last uh, actor I wanted to mention is Simon, played by Raphael Nash Thompson. And he is a giant of a man. And one of his roles that he played was a very ill person on a sofa. And he made himself so small. You know, I, I don't know how he did it. But Acting. Yes, it, it was very effective. And I mean, say we don't have enough Raphaels these days. You don't run into no. a Raphael every every day anymore. Let's bring that no, back. No, but I, I taught some Raphaels. Really? Like, yeah, a couple of them. They were really cool kids, both of them. Mm. So that makes me like the name. Very good. But that's neither here nor there. Absolutely not. Yeah. But all of <laughs> them <laughs> gave really what I would call high-skilled, commendable performances. Just kudos to the entire cast. The set was awesome because it was an art gallery. It was a great big picture frame surrounding the entire stage. Oh, wait, kind of like hearkening back to what we see on the cover, which is yeah, somebody reaching out to bit. touch a painting. I get it now. Yes. And a, it has just come full circle for me. If you felt that little like tremor, that's what was going on there. It's all coming together today, it's isn't it? It's all coming together, Lonnie. And Narelle Sissons is the woman that did the set. And it was 
just lovely. And that's all you got to say about that. I just really hope that everybody goes to see this. As I said, this really is exceptional. It's, it's, it's a touching. brilliant performance. It's a touching piece. Yes. You take that as however you want. It makes me want to touch. Yeah, yeah. But through that, they just all became connected in a way to each other and the art. It was no spoilers. And again, that is The Guard at City Theater through April 2nd. Got it. Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you, Brian.